brain injury um, is a common complication in babies that are diagnosed with complex congenital heart disease that will require open heart surgery in the first few days after they're born. The MRI uh, techniques that our team has been developing um, have demonstrated the ability to pick up very early uh, deviations in brain growth and development among fetuses diagnosed with critical heart disease as early as, th as the third trimester of pregnancy. Currently, the um, obstetrical and imaging tools that are available to us have the ability to pick up um, fetal distress and brain injury. The problem with these techniques is by the time they're able to actually pick up evidence of brain injury or fetal distress, it's usually too late uh, because by the time they pick it up, um, the injury has already happened. And so all we're really left with is damage control. Our group has uh, developed uh, one of the largest normative um, databases of um, healthy fetuses. In fact, we have studied well over 250 healthy pregnancies, uh, whereby we have been imaging fetuses at three time points uh, across gestation. The first two time points happen in fetal life, so anywhere through the second and third trimester, and then we again repeat these studies after these babies are born postnatally. To be able to pick up these very early deviations from normal, we've had to rely upon this availability of a normative sample across gestation so that we could understand, number one, what is normal, number two, what is the variation of normal, and from there we can begin to study the timing of how and why things go wrong in the high-risk pregnancy. So using fetal MRI and particularly a, a technique referred to as proton magnetic resonance spectroscopy, we now have the capability of um, picking up very important chemicals in the brain non-invasively that uh, can tell us important information about fetal health and well-being. Among these substances, uh, we, ha we are capable of picking up a substance referred to as lactate. Um, and in situations where lactate becomes elevated in the fetal brain, this is an indication to us that the fetal brain is being deprived of oxygen. What our data has shown to date is that in the subset of fetuses with complex heart disease that show the presence of elevated lactate in the brain, um, these, the subset of fetuses appear to be at greatest risk for subsequent disturbances in brain growth and development um, in the remainder of their pregnancy. And so although um, we continue to follow this population long term to better understand what this means in so far as adverse neurodevelopmental uh, outcomes. Our preliminary data suggest that the presence of lactate certainly seems to be a red flag for um, subsequent disturbances in brain maturation and brain injury in this population.